Hi and welcome to this tutorial on using vectors to prove results in geometry and we're going to be looking at a particular type of problem which involves parallelograms. So let's have a look at this question. Show that the points A minus 1 0, B minus 2 1, C 1 3 and D 2 2 form a parallelogram. So we've been given four coordinates here and we've been asked to show that these coordinates form a parallelogram. Now before we approach this question, let's first of all think about what a parallelogram actually is. Well, a parallelogram is simply a quadrilateral, a four-sided shape where each opposite side is both parallel and has the same length. Okay, so here's an example of a parallelogram where you can see that these two sides are opposite, they're both parallel and they both must have the same length. And the other pair of opposite sides also are parallel and they both have the same length, okay? So given our understanding of the geometric properties of a parallelogram, we can actually use vector methods to solve this problem. Now we can actually map out these coordinates on an ij vector axis as follows. So here I've just plotted the coordinates, but instead of using coordinates, I've just used column vectors to illustrate these coordinates on an ij vector plane. And if we join the points together, we have something that looks like a parallelogram. Now what we need to show in order to prove that ABCD is a parallelogram is that each pair of opposite sides are both parallel and equal in length. We can do this by showing that the vector BC is equal to the vector AD. This would prove that they're parallel because if you remember the definition of two vectors being parallel, meaning that one vector is a scalar multiple of the other. Now, if the vectors are equal, then they're of course a scalar multiple of each other and that scalar in that case would be one. This equation would also prove that the vectors have the same length because if two vectors are equal, then they both have the same magnitude or length. Now this equation on its own is not enough to prove that the shape ABCD forms a parallelogram. And the reason is, is because if we assume that these vectors are in fact equal, well here's another way that they can be drawn. They could actually be on the same line. They could be collinear vectors and that wouldn't form a parallelogram. So in order for us to complete this proof, we also need to show that the other pair of opposite sides are both parallel and equal in length. So we have to show this equation and that the vector BA is equal to the vector CD. Okay. So assuming you are aware of how to calculate displacement vectors using vector arithmetic, let's go ahead and calculate the vector BC. So BC is going to be equal to C minus B. And using their column vectors, we get that this is equal to the vector 1, 3 minus the vector minus 2, 1. 1 minus minus 2 is equal to 3 and 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. And so we get that BC is equal to 3, 2. Working out the vector AD, this is equal to D minus A, which is equal to the vector 2, 2 minus A, which is minus 1, 0. 2 minus minus 1 is equal to 3 and 2 minus 0 is equal to 2 and therefore we've proven that the vector BC is equal to the vector CD and now we need to work out these vectors we're starting from the vector BA or well, BA is equal to A minus B and using the vectors that's equal to the vector minus one, zero, which is A, subtracted by the vector minus two, one, which is B. Minus one, minus, minus two is equal to one. And zero minus one is equal to negative one. So calculating the vector CD, this is equal to D minus C, which is equal to two, two, minus one and three. 
2 minus 1 is 1 and 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 and therefore we've shown that the vector BA is equal to the vector CD. So in order to get all the marks we need to conclude that since the vector BC is equal to the vector AD and the vector BA is equal to the vector CD it follows that ABCD is indeed a parallelogram as it has two pairs of opposite parallel sides where each pair is equal in length. By evaluating how we actually worked out this problem, some of you might have recognized that we didn't actually need to draw an accurate vector diagram for this problem. However, when given points or vectors, you'll generally be given the points in respective order. So no matter how you choose to draw the diagram, make sure your vertices are drawn in respective order based off of the order given in the question, okay? So here we have A followed by B followed by C followed by D and here we've got A followed by B followed by C followed by D. If we had A followed by C for example, we would not be able to prove that this forms a parallelogram. And you can always test this yourself by using the same methods. Let's have a look at the next problem. So here we're told that the points A and B have position vectors 1, minus 2, 5 and minus 3, minus 1, 2 respectively. The points P and Q have position vectors 1, 2, 0 and 5, 1, 3 respectively. And we've been asked to show that ABPQ is a parallelogram. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to pause this and try this one yourself and when you come back we'll walk through the solution. Welcome back. So we've been given four points, A, B, P and Q, and their position vectors respectively. Now in this example, we've been given 3D vectors as opposed to 2D coordinates, which we converted to 2D vectors in the last example. So let's start this question by assuming that A, B, P, Q is a parallelogram and drawing a sketch marking the points A, B, P, Q respectively. Now, as we said previously, we're not too concerned with drawing the sketch accurately based off of the vectors. All we should know for now is that A, B, P, Q, which relative to a fixed origin O, lies somewhere in a 3D plane. So using vector methods, we need to show that the vector A, B is equal to the vector Q, P, and the vector B, P is equal to the vector AQ. So working out the vector AB, well the vector AB is equal to B minus A and using the vectors we've been given this is equal to minus 3 minus 1 2 minus 1 minus 2 5 minus 3 minus 1 is equal to minus 4 minus 1 minus minus 2 is equal to 1 and 2 minus 5 is equal to minus 3. Calculating this vector QP, this is equal to P minus Q, and given the vectors, this is equal to 1, 2, 0, minus 5, 1, 3. 1 minus 5 is equal to minus 4. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, and 0 minus 3 is equal to minus three. And as these two vectors recall, we've been able to show that the vector AB is equal to the vector QP. Moving on to the next equation, starting with this vector BP, or well BP is equal to P minus B. And given the vectors, this is equal to one, two, zero, minus, minus three, minus one, two. One minus minus three is equal to positive four. 2 minus minus 1 is equal to 3 and 0 minus 2 is equal to negative 2. And lastly, the vector AQ is equal to Q minus A and given the vectors, this is equal to 5, 1, 3 minus 1 minus 2, 5. 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. 1 minus minus 2 
is equal to 3 and 3 minus 5 is equal to minus 2 and as these vectors are both equal we've proven that the vector BP is equal to the vector AQ so let's finish this off with a conclusion since the vector AB is equal to the vector QP and the vector BP is equal to the vector AQ it follows that ABPQ is a parallelogram as it has two pairs of opposite parallel sides where each pair is equal in length. So really hope you found that tutorial somewhat useful. Keep up the good work and I'll see you in the next tutorial. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.